if you have some popcorn, if you have a drink, if you have some snacks, just grab all of it because it's about to be a movie. <laughs> Girl, we no, graduate and don't play. We get down. Our first class graduate. Class of 2024. Gonna give you just three seconds to make sure your hair looks amazing. Oh my god, like I really can't believe it's happening. First class graduate. I'm not 50, Megan. I know you are trying to say that I'm 50 and above. Good last for experience. Maxine, I'll get my well, it's not the same. It's too late to figure it out to make it through. Maybe it can't wait. Maybe it's time. Maybe we don't. Try to pull you closer. I don't wanna go there, but maybe it's too late to figure it out. I'm sure you guys know this feeling, you know when you've been at something for so long and you just can't wait for the thing to be over, for you to celebrate. Hey guys, my name is Max Lynn, owner of this channel, obviously Maxi's Kitchen. If you're new or old here, you're welcome. Um, on this day, I was just preparing for my very last and final undergrad exam ever and it was a French writing paper. was actually a bit anxious so I just turned on some gospel music and it did the trick paper after this I'm done with my undergrad let's go I did my exam I finished and I just didn't feel the way that I thought I'd be feeling obviously I felt free but I wasn't super super elated I wasn't super excited but I was very grateful to God I just got back to my room took down all of the post-it notes that I had on my board the ones with perpetuity and annuity formulas all of those things I took all of them down. You are the reason why I make it through. Hey, you are the only one, yeah, that is true. So, post the completion of my exam, I did some fun things. I went to Cardiff with my friends. That was really, really fun. And I also went to the beach with my friend Nana. She was my um, 
my study partner in final year. I'm super blessed to have met her in final year, to be honest. I honestly can't imagine what it would have looked like without her. And quite a number of things, actually. The days came by, weeks came by, and then results day came. <laughs> so, results day, results day, results day. <laughs> The way that I had planned to get my results wasn't how I got it and I think God made it happen that way because I know how much I would have panicked on the day results were supposed to come out. So they told us results were going to come on a Thursday and these people, for the records, these people are always late with, with releasing the results, the business school. So not the entire university but the business school in the university because since first year I've had friends that studied courses like law and some other different things and they would always get their results before my sister and I get our results because my older sister was in the business school as well. We would be waiting the entire day, waiting for the results and the business school would tell us something like, oh, you have to wait um, for like two more days. So I was sort of expecting something like that to happen this time. And they took us by surprise and gave us our results a day earlier. I was not expecting it. I was on a FaceTime call with my friend Fifi. We were just talking, talking, talking on my phone and then I saw the email drop. Um, your results are in, click it, check your results, da 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 da. And I was like, you know what, let me just click it and check. I, I'm not the kind of person that would keep the results for one more day or would panic and say, should I open it now? Like, as soon as I see it, I click it, I look at it. So I clicked the email and then my results, it was just in my face. This is like, how many weeks after? This is like how many weeks or even months after I've even graduated and this thing is still quite funny to me. I saw the results, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so I got a second class upper um, and let me tell you guys, I'm super, super proud of myself. I honestly do not want to make this video an emotional one, but I'm super proud of myself. Even though that's not what I was expecting, I was expecting a first class. I was expecting a first class, but let me make this clear. Most importantly, I just wanted to graduate. You know what I went through during the entire four or five years of being in Exeter. I was just really looking forward to graduating, but then again, I was expecting a first class. So the results came in. Um, I saw the division that I was under, which is a 2-1, I got a 2-1, but they didn't give me my final mark, okay. But the university had sent us an email like a month before of a calculator that they would use to calculate our marks, and then they asked us to put in all of our marks from first year till date. So I did just that, and I had that calculator thing on Excel on my laptop. Like I said, the university is the one that made the Excel sheets. So I just put in the final grades from this year in and realized that I missed a first class by a few decimals. So to get a first class, you would need 69.5 and above and I got 69.36. So I was really bummed that I missed it by very little margin, okay? Um, I was just, you know, thanking God in the moment. I called my sister, spoke to them. Everyone was happy. Everyone was telling me what I needed to hear, that you've done so well, you know. So that made me very happy. Not until I went back to my results to go and check the individual reports to see that one lecturer had given me 60% for an essay that I used my heart and soul to write. And I know how much time that I put into doing that one and the research and everything. So I was quite confused. And the reason why it pained me was because I only needed like 1% more from that work. Literally, if he gave me 61, I would have been swimming in my first class. And so my sister came over and Juku came over as well. And we had a long, long chat. They don't put the mark on the degree. And that's what makes it even more upsetting because of the way. No points, no points. It's also upsetting because. because... Jesus. <laughs> you... They'll say use this, but then when they come to the same, they can't be. They're not showing shit. Because I was saying that people are. I would have prepared 65. I'm not trying to be ungrateful. Or even they should have given me 61. 
Because someone that gets 16 and someone that gets 69, it's not the same. Like, the watch is not the same. Not anyway, the same. At you know, when you read feedback and you're like, okay, well, I don't want that much, but I get it. Like, you're not going to get that much. Like, you're not going to get that much. That's what I'm saying. That I know the difference between an essay that is 60 and an essay that is 70. Yeah, it's even 65. 60 and 65. Yeah, even 65, yeah, there's a difference. Guys, do you know that even if I got, even if they gave me the mark for me to get the first class, and let's say he gave me 61, which would have given me a first class instead of 60. I would have rejoiced about my first class, but I would still go back to say, ah, this, this guy, essay is not This is a 61 essay. Louder. <laughs> so <cute. laughs> Oh god. I spent four years trying to get this degree and apart from this four years I did a foundation degree so that's five years in total in Exeter. My journey is such a beautiful one and it had finally come to an end. I felt like the devil was trying to steal the joy out of you know that wholesome five years and I did not give him the chance to. That's something that I'm super proud of myself for not allowing because I could have easily just thrown all of the good things that happened in these five years. I did get a scholarship after my first year in Exeter. I could have forgotten about all those things and just focused on the fact that I didn't get first class when that wasn't actually supposed to define my entire journey so i was a bit bummed like i said and one thing that i loved that i did was to make time to rant about it and not keep it within me i wasn't blaming god but i had to talk about it i'm human guys and i'm super grateful to juku and megan for that we spoke and spoke for like three good hours we just spoke about the entire thing that made me feel good yeah i don't think that this girl is the girl yeah you see all of us inside i wish i didn't see that feedback it's a speech it's a speech copy and paste feedback no yeah then i shouldn't have used the the theories yeah. I should have explained. <laughs> I did explain to the point where I didn't find one law. And I didn't explain the law that, 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 that the reason why the period of using had, had to happen because you see had to let go of that stretch so that IBM could buy it because they weren't into what it. the lecturers you go to class, they'll be smiling as if oh yeah, you just need to you'll be fine. Like they'll ask like they're the nicest people. <laughs> and so it's always those fifteen credits ones, this high deal. <laughs> People were making me feel like French would be my biggest regret, but it wasn't. Yeah. And the fact that I'm also getting it on my certificate. It was much. It was nice to this thing. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Wait, wait, wait. I need to explain for the people. <laughs> I did the same French watch. <laughs> It's not GC, it's not it's not classwork. It's my classwork. It's my classwork. It's my classwork. Hey! Hey! Because the way they talk, they're not me to train. I didn't even know that they, yeah, they could, you could slow it down. I now came to do this interview with Shulisin. It was a big shock to the system. It was shocking because you intimidate one and intimidate two. They are different. Look, yeah, you what you, you told me, told me. I didn't intimidate why I can't be that bad. Bro, it's a different ballgame. Why are you French, if you're in the exam room and you don't know, you don't know. You just be dead. Why are you in the exam room? 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 And I was just like, they were both your point. Like, like, I, I was like, I, 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 I really thought the was going to no, no, So I was just like, like what's sort of thing is to keep? But for each time they do, it's hard. It's not easy. The second one, the numbers and things they expect you, I think you won't even understand. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy. That's what French French is It's not easy. 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 It's not Sure, we work power, we sit. What? Safi, but we have a copy and paste, sister.
Forgive me, God. Jesus, please. No, I'll never forget. You know what someone says? They can never forget. I can never forget 69.36. That's not bad. I feel like God will give you peace. Is this thing relates to grief for me as a person? Yeah, this is grief. This, this is actually true. Of course, you know, I it's something that you've been working. It's something yeah. that you've been working for for yeah. four years. Everything was going well. I remember that. I, I remember first year. I remember how you felt. I remember that conversation. Well, not even four years, because really, if you're putting it into perspective, it's five because of into, right? Yeah. So five years in the making, like. Wait, it's because I remember first year that now that call that we did or oh, and what's it called? Oh, when the results came, then people called. So that's right. I remember so well and how we we're talking about because I think yours hadn't come yet, but ours had come and we we're talking about it. I was so upset, I was going through emotions, and then yours came and you got the first. I remember how happy you were. Like the whole yeah, thing has been. Second year should go first. Yeah. Who would give you peace? It's definitely a grieving situation. Yeah, this is because look, you know how grief works. That people can say, okay, I've got no minds, and then and you yeah, just be there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just that's like the number. Like they'll just oh sh- strike and have. But God would definitely give you. Do you know? Peace. At this point, I even wish final years they don't release the results to us. They just tell us the grade. I don't know. I don't think you would like that though. I know, but really? there are some things that to I... To sit to yeah. one day and not even know that at the very least <laughs> you were on the higher end of the spectrum. Not all to one is created equal. Someone that gets 60, the work that they've done their whole uni life, and someone that gets 69, the work that they've done their whole uni life, the it's not the same. <laughs> like, I can't rant about this thing forever. Okay. Even, like, even someone, like, the, from 60 to 60, the work caliber of from 60 to 65, and from 66 thing. to 69, it's, it's, not, it's not the same. same. Not the same. <laughs> It's crazy. You know, you guys are making me feel better. Like <laughs> to highlight that poor structure section. Hey, I'm a fool. Jesus. So when you're your bro, oh, who the worker said bra? Your fellow, your own children is telling me. It's pissing me off. Like, <laughs> oh my god, it's pissing me off. Classes were so intimate. I used to sit in front. He didn't say, Oh my god, like I'm a chef that yeah, he also likes to cook. He made this chicken for his family. Genoa. 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 The fact that I chose this module, like, and always those ones that will enter you, like, you want to give this to your chest, too. It wasn't compulsory, it wasn't, but you were just like, I saw it was the one, yeah, just an extra. Oh, it's always those ones. And that was the last time I ever spoke about this thing. Chuku wouldn't stop calling me first class graduates. Um, you know, my mom, everyone around me, so that made me feel good, I think. Um, so yeah, that was that. Post results day, it was just planning, planning for grad because I was certain I was graduating then and that made me very, very happy. So talking about grad plans, I got three dresses done. One by a designer called Kenneth Tete and two by a clothing brand called Esprilla. So I had a green kente done by Kenneth Tete and I had a pink kente done by Esprilla and also one Ankara dress done by Esprilla. Now, I wasn't sure which one I was going to wear. The reason why my mom um, advised me to get three dresses done is because I wasn't going to be there physically for them to get my measurements. We just wanted different people to make dresses for me so that when they get here um, and one doesn't fit, at least the other would fit. Okay. That's how we were looking at things. So, so Megan came to mind one day, took my measurements. When she took my measurements as well, we took videos to send to the people that were making the dresses just so that they could sort of get a visual um, understanding just to improve the accuracy of the measurements. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe and right away I'm so Yes. Reduce it. I'm not 50 Megan. I know you are trying to say that I'm 50 no. and above. Well, but reduce it.
So we did that, Megan helped me with that and then we sent the measurements off to the designers. So for the very first style that I chose, my mom wasn't exactly happy with it. When my mom isn't exactly happy with something and she tells me and I'm just like, no, but that's what I want, but this is what I want. She'll be like, okay, but then she'll come to you the next day or the next few days and say something that, hmm, I hear that this and this and this about your dress, hmm, it won't work, maybe it won't work. This time, my mother came to tell me that she had a dream, guys. And she was telling me about how she had a dream about my dress. <laughs> But no, be a Yeah, she said that. She said she had a dream like that. So I just reached out to my designer to tell him that please, please, and please, I just mentioned this already and I want to say it again that I do not want any cleavage. I think the first dress that I chose had a little bit of cleavage. I don't really like to show cleavage. So I did mention it to the designer not to show too much cleavage. And my mom was still not convinced enough that he was going to do exactly what I asked him to do. Protecting my peace for so long A little too good, now I'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights, I don't go Never been sure, no, I don't know How does everybody else let go of the ego? So my parents were finally in and I had to go to London to, you know, meet them, try my clothes on get my hair done and get my nails done just do my whole maintenance routine before my grad and I did that I was cooking that weekend for a friend called Michelle so she had, she had just launched her hair brand a month ago but apart from selling bundles she's so good at laying front house you know styling wigs and everything and i really wanted her to get my grad hair done so i told my friend to tell her a santoa and i headed off to london that weekend to get my hair done at michelle's to um get my nails done to meet my parents to try on my grad dress um, to get a pedicure done, you know, all of that. I went to London very early on a Saturday morning to get all of those things done. And on the Friday, I made food for Michelle because I just know her type you know the type that won't collect money after doing your hair yes you know those people that you have to beg them to please pay them you know those people that are good at something but aren't exactly in business for that particular thing yet Michelle she's so good at laying front house and all of that but it's not something that it's not a service that she renders yet so um, I knew for sure she wasn't going to collect any money so I made some food for her I made some jollof I made some roast baby potatoes some fish and capers with some kind of sauce butter and lemon sauce I made a kale coleslaw I made a cup salad I made different things for her and I just sent it to her as a way of saying thank you for getting my hair done I got my nails done, I got a pedicure done, I did everything.
I did everything. And then I also tried on my dresses. Um, I was so bummed that my pink dress didn't fit because I really wanted to wear that dress by Esprilla um, but I couldn't wear it which was so painful but I'm still going to wear that dress in December because I like the colors, I like the beading, I just love everything about that dress. Um, I ended up wearing the dress by Kenneth Tete which was a green dress, Kinte dress, I wore that and I had a stole done to match that that dress as well. So if you're not Ghanaian, usually when Ghanaians graduate, they get a stole done that would usually have their name and their course on different sides of the stole. And it would also usually have an Adinkra symbol that the person likes. So I went for this Adinkra symbol that means near Unimnusia, which literally means if the person who doesn't know learns, they see. So it's more like someone if someone doesn't know something, if they learn it, you would get to know it or you would be able you would know it. So that means that if there's something that you do not know and you learn about it you'll be knowledgeable in that area or you would have knowledge in that area. So that's what I had put on my stole. I also had some Jinyami signs at the bottom of my stole. Actually, I did about four stoles because I used two different people. The first person that I used, I didn't quite like how it turned out in pictures. It wasn't looking too good to me, but when it arrived, it was actually looking so, so good. And I got two more done at a different person's place. That person was super professional. So actually on my graduation day, I wore one and then I shared the rest of my family members and some of my friends to wear, which was really nice. So the green dress was the only dress I had. I wore it. I wasn't sure if I liked it. I wasn't sure. But when I wore it, my mom was like, this is actually not bad. This looks good. My sister said it looked good, Mark. Mommy, what do you think about this dress? It's unique. Mark. Mark, what do you think about this dress? I like it. It's cute. It's cute. So I was just looking at the mirror, looking at the dress. And all of a sudden, I tried to sit to see if I would be able to sit. <laughs> I couldn't sit, guys. I think this was the first time ever I was wearing a proper corset dress. And guys, <laughs> I didn't know that it was so much work. No one told me that when you wear a corset dress, you wouldn't be able to sit properly. Guys, I tried sitting down with a dress. I could not sit. I'm not even exaggerating. I could not sit. My mom and my sister, they thought I was just trying to joke about it. But I couldn't sit. I just couldn't sit. No, this one, I'm just like, no, I'm being dancing. No, this one is different. Mom, I recorded. No, wait. I'm not I'm not saying, but this one is different. <laughs> what dress am I going to wear? I started asking myself. Um, but then I asked my sister to loosen the the corsets. And then when she loosened it, I was able to sit but I was still not so comfortable so she took the corset off completely and I realized that there was a zip that I could use so I zipped up the dress but without the corset and I was able to sit okay so that's what I did on the grad day because I had a robe I was wearing a robe anyways so no one was going to see that um my corset wasn't laced okay so that's what I did I was still so bummed I wanted to wear the pink dress but, you know, there was no time to be saying what you want to wear, what you don't want to wear. I had to wear what was fitting me at that point. <laughs> and I took my dress, I headed to Asanto's place. Michelle came over, she did my hair. I'm here with the biggest hair, hair stylist. Hello. 
I'm wearing a Sansa's boo boo, guys. I was supposed to go back to Exeter today, but Sansa said no, no Me. way. So, <laughs> here we are. I don't even get any camera. I think. You were just releasing a snare, Mipet. Give a clock, give a Sansa. Like, you want the. No. You don't know where it's that much. You like to play with just a face. Um, what do you think? I don't know anything about her. I'm leaving it to you. So cool. Because I never know the actual use of, of, the hot comb, yeah, of all of these things. Is that new for? So what, what memory is it? Um, one, two, Eight, one, two, and, and how long does that last you? So, so you know I'm the breakfast type tomorrow morning. So we have to spot ten o'clock on the weekend. We are about to get into our. I'm sure it's not working after seven o'clock. The way I just. As I'm sorry, if you don't wake up by that time, by the time you open your eyes, I would have. Nami ko. Leave me. I loved, loved, loved my hair. She laid my hair so well. And she was telling me to keep it still the grass day, which was like in two days. And I was like, girl, I can't keep a wig on my head overnight. She styled it so beautifully. She cut the lace for me. Thank you, girl, if you're watching. Um, she did that for me. And Asanto and I were super late. We were supposed to come back to Exeter on Saturday when I went to London. But we couldn't make it, so... Um, I slept over our hairs and the first thing the next morning we headed back to Exeter Good morning guys, I'm at Sun Twist and I slept over because We were late for the last train that left Exeter um, and I had to get my hair done. So now that I've done my hair We're leaving. It's been so hard to vlog during this busy season, but it's 9.32 a.m. And I'm just here with Asantua. Asantua is acting like she's the one graduating guy. Every time I have to wait for her to finish everything before we leave. But that's the princess. I've been singing Let's Go for the past hour, guys. Anyways, we're heading to Exeter. We'll catch you guys. Bye. Some luck in the book. I don't give a fuck so what someone say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We got to the train station, we got to Paddington. I wanted to get some flowers and a card for my grad girl, Nana. You know, it's always so hard creating content because how did that guy show his face in my video anyways? I picked the perfect bouquet for my friend and I was also looking for a card but I didn't quite find a nice card at MS. So luckily there was this other card store um, at the Paddington station. So I just went there and then I found the perfect card for Nana. Of coffee and a sausage roll for about nine pounds I wouldn't usually pay nine pounds for a sausage roll and a cup of coffee but the cup was really pretty that's why I got the coffee from there I just got a regular oats latte and the sausage roll was for like five pounds but it wasn't that great <laughs> Trying to find your way Let's see 
is mine Since we were stuck in LA We can jump to rooftop and Come watch the skyline with me so we got back to mine, I unpacked, you know, I unpacked my dress, called my friend Brittany, showed her my dress, and yeah, I just rested a bit, we ate when we got back, and a few hours later, Nana called us that she was on campus getting her robe for the next day, which was Monday, our grad day, um, but they had told us that we could only come for it the morning of the grad, um, and honestly, I wasn't too happy about that. So I was so glad when Nana called to tell me that I could come to campus to get my to get my robe because she had gotten hers. And we did the same course. The only difference was that I also did French. So we went to meet Nana. graduating but I just I just hadn't deeped it yes that's the word I hadn't deeped it prior to this time I went in tried on the robe tried on the cap everything was fitting I was so happy I didn't cry because I'm not a cry baby but in my heart I was very I was feeling a lot of different things gratitude just so many emotions I was I was very happy and then we headed out to my um, to my apartment um, Asanto and I and we called my sister and my family because actually they also left London to exit up that same day but they came later in the evening Asanto and I just left early in the morning we called them and they had gotten here so they asked Asanto and I to come and meet them in town if we wanted to and Asanto was like you know what let's just take a walk to town and go and meet them so we met them there and they were actually having dinner at Nando's so we sat and then we ate a bit because we had already eaten we weren't really hungry so we just joined them had a little bit of food and then Juku came as well you know I just spent time with my family um, that was the eve before my grad and it was very beautiful and my auntie also came my dad's older sister it was just nice seeing everyone everyone was super excited for the day ahead of us um so was i of course i've got nothing to say thoughts stay burn inside my chest can take it one more day no matter how much pain i Period. After I got my results, I got so many gifts from so many people. Mac got me flowers. Guys, I just got this bouquet from Mac. They just got delivered. They are super, super cute. And I'm just going to transfer them into a vase right now.
Meg brought me flowers. We popped a bottle of champagne that I had been saving from my birthday in January. I bought it but I never drank it and I did tell her that I was waiting for results day to open the bottle. So we opened that bottle of champagne or some sort of sparkling drink. We shared that. She brought me cheesecake. Megan also got me this ritual body butter which I really love um, and it was so nice. My sisters, my sisters, my sisters are a blessing to me. My grad was at 11.45 a.m. but my sisters called me at 6 a.m. that morning to pray with me for a couple of minutes. So we prayed and I was getting very emotional then because they know, they know how much I had told them that I thought I wasn't going to graduate. You guys might not believe what I'm saying right now but at some point in my life I thought I wasn't even going to go to uni. I just thought I wasn't even going to graduate and the time that I thought I wasn't going to graduate wasn't before uni, that was during uni time. I had so many funny dreams about not being able to walk at some point. I, had a, I remember having a dream and in that dream it was graduation day and I couldn't walk so I couldn't graduate and I didn't really understand the dream but something happened in one january when i was supposed to come here i think i even vlogged about it it was actually not in january it was one summer when i was supposed to travel with mag and meg and i couldn't make it with them they had to travel and leave me behind because i felt sick and i couldn't walk okay i was bedridden and i remember during that time i kept crying so much only because i knew the dream i had had it wasn't even like right before but I had had that dream me not being able to graduate because I was on a wheelchair I was paralyzed you know just some very very funny dreams that the devil kept bringing so I remember during that time I was crying and I was telling Mark Mark was the only one I had told then I was telling her that Mark remember that dream I had I was not being able to walk, walk and all of that during my graduation time and because of that I couldn't graduate because I think I missed school for some time because of health reasons obviously and she was like no no that's not happening like so I prayed she, and she kept telling me no no that's never going to happen that the devil is a liar we prayed that, glory be to god i got well a few days after and i was able to get my flights back to school okay so i came to school i started school um and that made me very very happy that was right after my placement here actually so thinking about all these things that happened some i can't even share with you guys on here but when I say God has been faithful, I really mean it. I'm not just saying it. When Mag and Meg called me that morning to pray with me, all of those memories just came rushing into my head. And I was just filled with so much gratitude because, um, you know, he had just made it possible for me to graduate. Thank you guys so much. This day is amazing, like, difficult. Yeah, to think that, like, yeah, to even think that some points, like, I, oh my god, like, I really can't believe it's happening. No, 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 God is faithful. Thank you guys so much. You know, you're Bath and start getting ready now. I'm going to bath and start getting ready now. She's a fast asleep. Hey, she says she can hear us, but she's just trying to sleep. Right after that, I took my shower and then my girl Asantua got me ready. She did my hair for me. Why this hair dryer is no good? I did my makeup. 
And then got dressed. Mark came with my parents. My parents stayed downstairs with my friends and my auntie. They were just downstairs. And then um, Mark came upstairs to my room to help me fix my dress. And then after that, everyone came to see me. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm done dressing up. I haven't worn my robe yet because my mom will wear it for me. But my family is on their way and they're coming upstairs so yeah. I'm just waiting on them. Paintings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm still painting. She's never. No the painting is painting. Do a chip. The girl is no, graduating. No, Don't play. We get down. Please. My mom prayed for me before we left my room and then we walked to campus. My place isn't too far from campus, so we walked to campus. I got some pictures and some videos. Shout out to all of my friends that came. I love all of you guys so so much. Now, I wasn't able to vlog myself and Juku took it upon himself to bring his tripod to vlog everything that was happening just because he knew I was going to be so busy. I'm so grateful to him for that. He's such a good friend. God bless you Juku if you're watching. To know Juku is to love him. He's such a kind-hearted person. <laughs> We glorify, Lord, we glorify, Lord, we glorify, we glorify, Lord, we glorify, Lord, we glorify, we we it is true that we give honor to Hallelujah. Him. We soak it from the crown of the head to the source of the Amen. We give you praise. Amen. We give you praise. We thank you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Woo! Woo! 
Amen. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. No one else makes me feel this way. Don't know what you do. Much better. Oh no, please go, 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 don't worry. Okay, so it was time for me to graduate, graduate, like walk on the stage, cross the stage, shake the vice chancellor, and then graduate. A few minutes before I got conferred, 
I walked into the grad hall. My parents were there. You know, my parents, Juku, Mark, all of them were sat at the very front with my auntie just so that they could have a very good view of me. And thank you so much to Asantua because Asantua took the rest of my friends into the auditorium because not everyone was able to enter the um the grad hall so some people had to watch from a projector in the auditorium because she also studied in Exeter she knew exactly where to take all of my friends and all of my other people so she took them there it was just in the room the ceremony has started I looked down on my phone and I got a text from Asantua saying instead of you to pay attention I was like huh what's this girl talking about and then I got a snap from my friend Wenuna so i was vlogging but it was just nice that the camera caught me the camera caught me a second time actually so the second time i smiled back at the camera anyway so it was actually now time for me to walk up on stage to get confirmed and shake the hands of the vice chancellor usually when i'm crossing a stage like that with so many people looking at me i would be nervous but i wasn't nervous at all i was just happy i just couldn't wait for it to happen in business and management As soon as they called my name, I just gave my family a nice little wave and then I just walked up the stage. Went to shake the hands of the vice chancellor and just made my way down the stage and I felt so fulfilled and I remember telling myself countless times that God you did it, God you did it that was my Jesus EA moment that was my biggest God moment yet I was so happy that God had said he was going to do something in my life and he did it, he didn't lie um, God never lies. Every time something happens in my life, it just reminds me of how faithful God is. After that, I went outside, got a group picture with everyone that graduated in my ceremony. Okay, good afternoon, class of 2024. Congratulations! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give you just three seconds to make sure your hair looks amazing. Please do so now. <laughs> One more time for me. Hands down now. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, guys, congratulations. This is kind of the graduates. What do you have to say? I'm so, so proud of Maxine. <laughs> and I can't wait for her to celebrate more wins. It's only up from here, and that's on very <laughs> Hello. Ah, what, what is your message to the graduates? <laughs> is that what you asked for? Yes. Message to the graduates. Congratulations for achieving this feat. Mm. And the sky should be a Aww. It's not just the academic. Yeah, yeah, she has done so well. Good Auntie, say hi to the vlog. Hi. What is Marceline's mommy? Yes. Max has graduated. Any message from Max? Maxi, I'm so proud of you. You worked so hard and I've seen you first hand work so so hard in the library every day. Um, and you should feel so proud of yourself and your accomplishments. And I pray that God will continue to take you to higher heights. And we continue to come and celebrate. <laughs> Period. Yeah. I'm super proud of you, sis. I love you so much, and I just know that this is the beginning of many, many amazing things. Period. To be with you, new thing, and, and that's a work. Period. 
Okay, I'm back. Welcome to another day in the vlog with Maxi. We're going out with a gang. I hope you didn't think it was over. I mean, we're done celebrating with my parents and everyone that came that day. My friend Jillian had to go back because she had work, so she left Exeter that night right after the late lunch. But some of my friends stayed over, it just stayed over. Mark was still here, Meg was here, um, Asanta was still here, okay, living with me. So we decided to go bowling, Juku as well. We went bowling, we took my little brother. I forgot to mention this, so I have two brothers, but my first brother wasn't able to make it because he had a football thing at Denmark. And I remember him calling me months before my graduation to tell me that yeah, he knows my grad date is out and to have a chat with me about how um, he might have to go to Denmark to play football during my grad time and he just wanted to ask for permission, you know, that kind of thing. And I was like, oh, it's super fine. Like, I know how much you love football and this is such a huge opportunity. So I think you should go to Denmark and he went to Denmark so he wasn't able to be there for my grad but I was totally fine with that because by God's grace I'll be graduating again next year and um, I will speak about that later on but I might be doing my masters here in Exeter still <laughs> my friends and my sisters and my little brother the last one Magnus 
we had an amazing time. After that, we got some pizza from um, Old Firehouse. It's this pizza place in Exeter. They make really, really good pizza. We had that. And then I got a few groceries because I had to start snapping back into reality. Everyone was going. Juku had work the next day. Um, Juku lives here in Exeter. You guys know that. Um, Asanto was leaving that night. Aja was leaving that night as well. So I just had to start buying groceries to cook. Okay. My princess era was coming to an end. It was rounding up really quickly. Um, so I got some groceries, which I haven't really cooked yet, but they're still in my fridge. And yeah, the next day my parents left Exeter, so um, we just spent the day with them. We went for lunch with my dad. Um, we took him to this Thai place where I usually get Thai food from in Exeter. It was so good. My mom didn't come with us because she still wanted to eat Nando's. My mom's obsessed with Nando's. So she had that. And they just left Exeter. And it was just left with Meg and I here in Exeter. And that rounds up the entire grad um, season. Mm -hmm. The pepperoni and the blue book are very similar. Let's just pick one of them. <laughs> no, but pepperoni is the same as the winter. You already picked it. Okay, okay, fine. Then we are going. Yeah, yeah. He just wants us to pay. Pay attention. Yes, there is no. No, no. It's guys. It's okay. Chori. I'm grateful for my friends, the ones that I get to talk to every day, the ones that I don't get to talk to regularly, but then in my heart of hearts, I know that they are seriously rooting for me. My online friends, the ones that I've never ever met in my life, but are seriously rooting for me. I'm talking about you, Samuela. Such an amazing person, guys. So my biggest assignment in final year was worth 15 credits, okay? It was part of a 30 credit module, but that assignment alone was 15 credits, okay? It was 50% of the entire module, so it was 15 credits, which was heavy, and it was 4,500 words. That, you know those nights that I would go to the library to work? I just kept doing that for this assignment. And, and on one of the days, like five days to the due date, I was just having breakfast before I get ready to head out to the library, right? Because I would usually leave my place at around 2 p.m. and then go and spend the entire night at the library and come back home at like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So I was just looking through my work while I was having breakfast that morning and I just realized that all the work I had done on the previous day and I think the day before, everything had just cleared so staying up at night in school to get work done, everything was not saved. Everything just got cleared. And I ha always have auto save on. Somehow, I don't know how that happened. My work just cleared. The work got cleared. I did not have the vim. I did not have the energy to rewrite everything I had already written. I was confused. I sort of started believing the devil's lie of not being able to graduate this year um, because I was telling myself well, how am I going to get those words back together to make sense like there was research I had done links um, references that I had put in all of that gone my sisters were helping me call IT so many things happened I called Nana Nana was so helpful that day she came to mine brought me food and forced me to eat and then told me that we should go to school earlier than we usually would just so I could get my work I could start again you know and that night right I was so down and I happened to be talking to someone and I told her what happened and she just sent me voice notes 
of prayers and I remember feeling at peace after I listened to those prayers I had so much hope then that I could do the work you know I was just so there was something in me that you know I just had renewed hope and I did the work guys I submitted it and when the results came in that assignment which was 15 credits module I got a straight first class in that assignment and it was clearly the doing of the Lord you know I was so happy and I was so shocked at the same time even when I read the lecturers feedback it was as simple as excellent work done the quality of work I was able to produce even under pressure that prayer that night from Samuela changed everything it brought me peace like I said and it just gave me some different vim to do the work and as soon as I got my results I texted Samuela to tell her that I got her first in that assignment she was so happy little did I know that she was getting me a whole bouquet on my graduation day when I saw it I just brought back those memories from doing the assignments and I think that's why I burst into tears um, I just want to say thank you so much Samuela if you're watching me and to all of my other friends you guys know yourselves I don't want to mention names all of you know yourselves I love you very much and we'll do this again next year by this time I just want to use this opportunity to thank every single person that came for my grad. My family, my mom, my dad, my auntie, Auntie Rose, my little brother Mag, Meg, Eja, Julian, Amy Lee, Juku, Asantua, all of you guys. I love you guys so much and thank you guys for making my day super special. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone but I'm super glad that all of you could be there for me on this special day and I don't take you for granted at all. So this was the last day my parents and my auntie, Auntie Rose spent in Exeter before they left to London. Um, it was just so shocking to me how empty campus was. Grad season was over, um, everyone had gone back home. Um, so we went, we did a little bit of shopping before they went, so that was really nice. We spent the entire day with them and that was super cool. Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate everyone that watched till this point, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.